don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to Zara Football. So today we're going to have a listen to Richard Olele Kingston. He narrates it that told his his experiences with the Black Stars, the times he was taking the captaincy away from him and giving to Steven Napier. He also talks about the 2010 African Cup of Nations finals and a whole lot of struggles he went through as a footballer and as a man and as a husband and a father. He has thoughts of coming back to play so his son also watches him play football. He talks about a whole lot. Let's go have a listen to that interview. Richard Olele Kingston talking about his footballing career and the way forward for the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, I have stopped playing, but okay. I can come back and play again. Okay, you can come back and play again. Yes. Um, because you want your son to see you play. Yes. Okay. Um, would it be for a club? Would it be for the national team again? Which is which? No, for the national team, I would say no. Okay. But, uh, for even if it is one or two games, yeah, for my son to see me playing, yeah, but for the club, but for the national team. Mm. Mm. I see. <laughs> Interesting stuff. You know, and yesterday as well was, uh, you know, 14 years since we played uh, our first game against Italy. Of course, we lost that game. Um, take us back. You know, take us back to these two key games. Uh, let's talk about Italy briefly and then we can talk about South Africa as well. Okay, with, uh, with, with the Italians, I think... Uh, uh, the old team was a little bit panicking. Okay, you were panicking. Okay, yes. mm. for that one there is, is yeah. It, it was another story for me on that issue. Okay, it was, you know I was called as a fourth goalkeeper, but I was called into the team as a fourth goalkeeper. Samir so was first, George Ubu, Philo McCarthy, and I. Uh, but my hard working by the grace of God before the match I was called as a number one goalkeeper. So you were the fourth yes. choice. Choice. I yes. see. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it took me a longer time. Emotional, hard working, determination to come back and be the first choice at Ghana Blasters goalkeeper. So bef after the warm up, I was calm, but after the warm up, I started feeling emotional because, it's like, then my father, my late father image yeah. came. Yeah. I saw my late father image. So, so wow, father, this is your job. I am coming to continue where you stopped. Wow. So interesting stuff. Moving to the park, I was off. I but see. I was still in emotion. Okay. So after twenty minutes I came back and I started playing my normal day. And the old thing when we were going to the park, you can see the panic. Okay. On everybody's face. Everybody says. Because uh, hey, work up the first time yeah. and none of the, none of us have played Weka before it's a, it's a it's a it's a very big stage you can see more than 80,000 people shouting <laughs> hey, 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 and the whole world is watching, watching. it's not like you yeah. are playing local like, yeah. Oh, yeah so that that makes it a very big difference between uh, Germany 2006 and South Africa 2010 yes. because so with South Africa 2010 you guys just went in there and I mean you played uh, you know very yes, comfortably yeah even after the, uh, the the Italy game okay against Czech we were we were free okay we took it as normal we were, we were just we were unlucky we lost the game against Brazil mm -hmm. but uh, I can say that uh, after the uh, the Italian game, the confidence was so high. The unity and the love itself, no, so powerful. I see. So powerful. Sometimes, if you are not smart, you may think that some players have gone out, but no, you can see eight or ten players are in one room. 
they left their rooms oh well, so you were converging in one room yes yes to so do what to talk to sometimes they play this uh, video video games yeah video games i see uh, they are there so that was one of the things that helped you guys yes it's unity and love i see yeah unity and so love. so you carried that that confidence after that experience in germany you went to south africa mm -hmm. and the confidence was there because you had had experience yes so in south africa our aim was to cross quarter funnels okay to break that record so uh we were surprised that Uruguay beat us surprised ah, no we will beat this team they can't beat us we were even thinking about meeting uh france in, in the semi-finals semi hmm. because we are all blacks we play the same football we can match them even if you look at the young players among us no? they were playing like <laughs> they were just playing like they are playing local league yeah because we're together we were together so much unity so much love but it was very unfortunate mm. that, uh, tell me what it is about the penalty spot and the penalty shootout that we still can't get right everybody me, Ghanaians have a lot of confidence in you i mean and in that shootout there was the expectation that you probably could have saved what three or four you know tell me how it went okay. against uruguay uh, uh before we had the penalty mm. you know i had a voice in me that hold your heart hold your heart okay yes, what is this so i was a little bit quiet and it it came again i was okay then i was just watching what will happen so when Asamoah missed the penalty I had a blackout I see yes I had a, a blackout I said wow so this is what you mean I showed my heart okay because like I told you, you know we have a confidence in the belief that no matter what this you're going to do be there will be there so when we had the penalty everybody was jubilating everybody was happy that oh we have gone so it was like a shock then later i found myself that i i am no more there so i wanted to be changed because i wanted to be changed because i was off but we have already used our three substitutes, substitutes. so i was off i was just standing there so it, it is to say that during the penalty shootout proper you were not focused you had at all at all i was off you were off i was off so when, when did you come around when did you realize oh we lost the game at, at which point did you realize look uh the after uh asama missed the penalty okay i told you i i went off okay okay i went off so I was like I was very light. Mm. I was not concentrating. I don't even know what is going on. I see. So I decided to go and tell the coach to change me. So that And then you notice that, that we had we had exhausted so that the our list. Will come. Yeah. But then we have already exhausted the list. Yes. Wow. So if you can see uh, this guy uh uh Dan Ajay mm. was motivating me. So don't worry. don't worry but i wasn't myself you 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 have had opportunities to lead the black stars um you you got the opportunity to lead the black stars um you know after our third place uh, feat in ghana 2008 you led uh, the black stars to the finals um you know in 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 egypt sorry in angola, angola. in angola 2010 in angola we played against egypt um we couldn't win the, the the game we played great football we couldn't win the game what was it that went wrong for us okay uh before the tournament uh this is 
sometimes some Ghanaians discourage the team before the team even goes ahead. Even goes ahead. And how many people believe that that squad can get to Fanas? But we promised ourselves that we will get to Fanas. But to win the cup, we don't know. But to get to Fanas. You knew we were going to get to the final? Yes. Another thing, um, I found out that you had a very, very bad injury getting into that, um, you know, during, during that stretch between the semis and the finals. And an injury which meant you couldn't play in the final and an injury which meant you probably could have even ended your career prematurely at the time. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as I was talking, yeah, so uh, when we got there, uh, there was, uh, I think, there was a crash between Togo and some military men at the bush. Yes. So, and uh, I think some of the Togolese members were killed. Yes, the, we were the bus driver. At the same and yes. camp. We were living at the same camp. So I see. we all became afraid. But. By the grace of God, we encouraged each other, and the Togoli and the and the Togolese were redrawn from the tournament. Yes. So we have to play high because. So we went to the stadium. Normally, we have to go there to report so that the the referees. So when we were there, we were watching Togo, no, Ivory Coast, and uh, Burkina Faso. So we were sitting at the. So after their game, stand. we are going to play. So yeah. we have to report. So that, that so, so that that will be a formality. For okay, me. okay. So sure. we were sitting out there, watching Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso. The tension and the pressure and the contact in the match, you know. And we have young young players like Dede, mm. uh, Ajiman Bedu, Bedu, yeah, Opoku Ajiman, Opoku Ajiman, yeah, uh, Inkun, yeah. Some could uh, you They are very, very young. So, after we went to have a training, and I called them with ACE. So, I said, Did you see the game? This tournament is not for under 17, it's not for under 20. If you're not 20, it's for senior side. You see how they were kicking. If you go there and you just put your leg and leave yourself, they will break your leg. So when they break it, you should put your leg there. Tell them you are small, but your bones are strong. Are strong. And they were laughing. We went in, and very importantly, that training, Michael Essen got injured at the training. So I have to. He was the captain. So now I have to lead the team. So from there, we were together. We played against Ivory Coast and we lost, I think, 3 0 or 3 1. Yes, in the, in the opening game, I remember very well. Yes. Drogba was yes. Uh, was the captain of the side yes. at the time. Yes. yes. Then our second game, like today, guys, even in the dressing room, including uh, uh, Mr. Yantechi, Fred Papu, and all, oh, they were down. They were down completely. They were saying, no, guys, come together. Let us pray. I am here. To go to Fanas, but I don't know that I will win the cup. So let us pray. And we prayed and win. And then the next game we play against Burkina Faso and we beat them. Then against Angola at the uh quarter Fanas. Yeah. So and they were calling us small small boys. I see. So so that you see they said you are small small boys. So just go there and show your smallish skills to them. We went there, we beat them. That was the day I had the injury. I had uh, the uh, Mamasu tear. Okay. Which doctor pronounced me. At the time, it was Dr. Percy Annan, if Dr. I'm, I'm Percy correct. Anna, yeah. Very well. I went to the hospital with him. And the, a doctor from South Africa, a South African doctor, said, This guy cannot continue the tournament. The tournament. Because it was a very long muscle tear. Even if you look at my right leg, 
there was a blood flowing inside my thigh. So I it see. was big. Even uh, my shorts was cut. So you had a swelling to the extent yes. they had to cut your shorts. Your shorts, yes. So it was, it was very big, and I cannot, I cannot even run. Since then, after the quarterfinals, I did not train once. I was only eating and sleeping treatment. So, I also like to thank the the young ones. They used to come to my room and motivate me. Say, no, 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 you can't leave us here. You lead us to the end. So after the game, I was asked a question at the uh, the pre-match. Or the, the, after the, the press conference, conference, the news conference, conference after the game. Yeah. Can you continue? I said, no, I'll continue. I'll put my my career on it against uh, Nigeria at the semi-finals. I said, no, I have to play this game. If my career will end here and the boys will get to finals, God, let it be and let them go and play because it was like uh, how we were treated before we left the country it has been like emotional we were praying we were fasting we were praying like uh, uh, like people who, uh, who, who, who have gone to uh, crusade I see oh yes we can pray three four hours as we are praying, we, we, we also do the right thing. We are able to do the right thing. So by the grace of God, we were able to beat Nigeria 1-0. Then we got to Fonas. And I told them, I cannot continue. So let, that's when the whole team has to take a decision, including the technical team and the, the medical team. Because I cannot play again. I cannot kick with the right leg. So. Everybody was like, no, Rich, try for us. Including the other goalkeepers. You are our leader. You cannot go and sit there. But get into the so, okay, if that be the case, I will risk my career for you people to go. And that game was the game I was man of the match against Nigeria. Wow. I won the man of the match. In the finance, I was there. I was not feeling any pain, nothing. But why? Why did we lose to Egypt? Okay, uh, we lost the game because of the concentration. We lost at the moment. So it was just a momentary loss of concentration. Yes, mm. and also, you know, like I told you, you know, I put my life on the tournament because uh, I wanted to break that thing that we can win the cup so as we were playing uh, one of our players you know, I didn't see him clearly it was like a smoke as covered him and the voice came to know this guy needs to be out. substituted substituted by then the egyptians coach were there doing their things to see <laughs> what is next so doing what what were they doing he was using some cards cards uh, i don't they have some uh pictures yeah because uh, their bench was where my post your goal post was closer was to their bench. To their bench i see so i am um, so when the ball so the coach was shuffling cards Shuff cards yes I see. So, and the voice came to me again saying, uh, go and tell the coach to change this particular player. So, the third time, I went there to tell the coach, can you change this player? Which player was that? <laughs> that one, I'll tell you later. You'll tell me later. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, then, change this player. Change this player. So, I got there, and when I got there, and something helped me there and I took water and I drank the water. By then, uh, Opoku Ajima was injured, so they were treating him. So, after I left and I went to the post, then they made change. The decisions made change. And the guy who came in the first touch was go. But, okay, so 
is it that you also lost concentration or you had fear in wanting to tell the coach what you had seen or what you didn't tell the coach what the voice was telling you no i wanted to tell him so when i i got there i got to where they are mm. I, I i got to where they are when i got there and something just hold me up and i took the water and you drank it and, drank it. and then you went back to the, the group and i tapped uh Jima. right get up get up wow yeah so the the, the uh, Gado Muhammad Gado came in, came in, was substituted. Yes, he yes. came and but scored the goal. For the game, you know, uh, sometimes people don't believe those things. People say w- w- uh, ways and means. Mm-hmm. How do you understand it? Somebody can cheat and win. Mm. It's a ways and means. Somebody can do anything to win the game. So as as a Christian who has faith in God, God God sees ahead of us. So I also took my petition to God to know the the mind of God. So sometimes I got revelation directions to help the to do to help the team. So before the 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 final game. Uh, I had a dream that in my own room uh, there was a center table and that the cup was on the table. The Afghan trophy. The Afghan trophy was on the table. Mm-hmm. And I was by the center table mm-hmm. and the Egyptian captain, Hassan, also was there. And somebody was sitting there like a referee. And he said, uh, one of you should take the cup. And we were, uh, we were talking. Take, 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 take. And Hassan took the cap. Then I got up. So you had this dream on the eve of the final. The final. So going into the game, you knew something was wrong. Is that yes. the case? Yes. Already, I have made that confession that mm. I am not here to win the cup. But, but I know I'll get to finals. But I don't know if... Correct. I know I'll get to finance, but I, th- I don't know whether I'll win the cup. I see. That was the confession I made to them in the dressing room I when see. we lost against uh, Ivy Coast. When everybody was... In our opening game. Yes. Mm. When everybody was, conf- everybody was disturbed, worried. Mm. And I got up and I told them. Okay. So after he took the cup, that was the first time I lost toss. Oh, oh, you lost the toss on the yeah. day, I remember. And okay. It's that uh, uh, that competition in my dream came reality at the, at the pitch when the referee was asking the two captains to choose the toss. We, we did the same thing. He said, Richard, I said, oh, Hassan, Richard, Hassan. He said, Richard, Hassan, Hassan, Richard, Hassan. Then he chose the toss and he won the toss. And eventually won the trophy. He won the trophy. So Interesting. There is a spirit in football. There is a spirit in football. What what kind of spirit is it? Where yes, does it come there from? There is a spirit. So far as it has a name, football, everything that has a name has a spirit. So football has a spirit. Yes, I see. There's a spirit in it. Sometimes you feel yourself today. You score, and you score. In, in years past, or in the last few months, we've had various conversations about this myth about the Africa Cup of Nations. You went very close to it. Now you're making this very big revelation here on the show. And there's some who also assign it to issues of the captaincy. Now, um, two weeks ago, Stephen Appiah sat here in this same chair, your place, and told me about the moment. I mean, earlier he had even told me about it in a personal conversation, that you gave him a blessing on the day when he was announced as captain of the Black Stars. And he said that he raised his hand in objection because you were the senior most player and then you tapped him. How did you position yourself to do that? To, to, to step back for a younger player, a lesser experienced player, to lead the team? What was it that made you bless Stephen Appiah to go ahead and lead the team? Thank you very much. I think it was 
game against Slovenia in Slovenia. Mm. Yes, I remember. Even that game self, uh, something happened at my home. What happened? It was very emotional and very tough. Is it two thousand and two or three of them? Yeah. Yes. Get close to the mic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I was invited, uh, my wife was not happy about it because she said the way uh, the nation or the FA is treating me. Uh, she wasn't happy about she it. She wasn't happy. About okay, it. so she didn't want you to honor the the, the invitation yes. of the Black Stars. Yes. Okay, for that game. Yes. Mm. And sh she was right then. Okay. Sometimes when I come, I will complain. I will forget. No problem. She he will encourage you. Yeah. So when I was invited, I said, "Wow!" Well, I said, "That." Well, I have to go and play. Then I have to save my nation, no matter what. He said, "No." When the insults hurts me very much. Maybe I didn't show it to you, so you don't feel it. Okay. For you, it's your job, so you can, you know how to handle it. So, I said, okay, we came to a conclusion that I will not go. But not knowing, but that, no. But that, no, uh, I have already given my passports and my my luggage to a friend at home to send him to the airport to check in. So you hid that from your wife? <laughs> she didn't see that? No. Okay. So I was I was at home when uh, the team is ready to go okay. or to leave to Slovenia. I had many calls. I said, I am coming. I am now looking for a way out. I am looking for a way out. So, and they were to as locked the door. Wow. And we have uh, uh, burglar proof there. <laughs> she can't go anywhere. <laughs> she, 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 I don't know where she has kept the, the keys. The keys. So I was talking to her at a place. Let me honor this for the last time. I will not speak to her. Say, okay. Okay. Say, oh, okay, okay. Then later she changed her mind again. That you shouldn't go? Yes. I said, okay, I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. I said, get me a food. Then she opened the door. Opened the door. So I was on the bed. Like that. And she, later, I was looking for a chance to run. So by running, and I, my body pushed her and fell down. She fell down? Yes. And she, 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 that, that, that time she was three months pregnant. So the, uh, the 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 dress that I was in, you know, <laughs> I, I went with to the airport to the airport and changed at the airport. You know, after I came back from Slovenia, she had miscarriage. She had a miscarriage as a result of that push. Yes. And you're running to go and play for the Black Stars. Yes. Wow. And then we were having a meeting. And uh, Apia was called as uh, uh, a captain. Truly, he tapped my shoulders. He said, ah, no, no, he got up and told them that, no, no, uh, it's Olele, who is the most senior player here. So he deserves to be a captain. And I tapped the I said, my brother, take it. I will support you. Don't worry. He was my roommate. So I think I'll support you. No problem. If you can lead the team and achieve what my heart is telling me to do for Ghana, and you can do it. I'll support you. Take it. So you never, you you were never no, 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 not at all. fixated on the the, the armband at all. So, so how do you feel about it when you, I mean, when you look back at some of your seniors and all, and all those issues about the armband and who wore it and who did not wear it? How do you feel about all of it? Yes, and I feel, I feel bad. I say, why are you fighting on this? This band 
it just to differentiate you from us. But the performance is that matters. You can be a captain and sit on bench. In this captain's band, you don't take more than anybody in terms of salary, salary, uh, winning bonus. <laughs> you take the same. <laughs> so I don't see the reason why sometimes people uh, fight over it. And sometimes it causes distractions. Wow. Distractions. To begin with this last question, Diego Forlan's free kick, um, you know, it broke our hearts big time. Okay. Uh, you know, the anger, uh, the free kick was pushed and positioned. Positions. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, I made three main wall. A three man wall, yeah. yes. I made it. So, uh, doing that, you know, I wanted him to loop the ball over the wall. The wall. And he decided to place it instead. He decided to put the ball at where I was before. Oh, okay. So I moved one step to right. Then he played the ball on my left side. And, the, and then the, the Jamulani ball is very fast. I know it's like when uh, it's coming. It just make like waving. Yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, I'll accept it. It was a mistake but you made. I'll accept it because if you made a wall mm. and you were scored at where you were standing on, as a goalkeeper, it's your fault. Okay. But over the wall, mm, it, 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 uh, it's not your fault. So okay. I'll accept it. And I was, I tried to do my best for it, but the I wall see. was very, very fast. Mm. You also, I mean, you, so you had experience. You were from Sweden, from Turkey, and then you you got to England. I mean, uh, I mean, tell me about the differences. I mean, when you when you place your experience in England to the others. Uh, in England, the league, <laughs> the, the 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 league there is very special. Mm. You need to be very intelligent, and you need to be very fast. You know. So I enjoy the game more in England than any other country I've played. You know, I went to Sweden also. Sweden, there I was like a king. Yeah, I signed three months from Sweden to England. I signed three months to play, and I was by the grace of God, I was able to be transferred to Birmingham. In Sweden, I was like a king, Hammarby. I played, uh, is it 14 games? I lost only one, and they were leading. So uh, they decided to uh, buy me. But mm. the money my agent <laughs> gave them was very high for them. So uh, we were leading the, the, the league table, and their aim was to win the league and to play Champions League. So they did everything but they can't afford the, the money. So I was left to England. But England I felt more uh, competitive. I felt very, 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 very it was a tough. So from England to the World Cup. Yeah. Uh, so I see it as uh, the, no, the 2010 World Cup. So yeah. I see it as a uh, normal thing. Okay, <laughs> you were the brand ambassador for the biggest, uh, you know, size of polytank. It's a ten thousand liter uh, polytank, and then you were the brand ambassador as well for Calipo, which became uh, Richard Kinson twenty two Black Star. <laughs> Charlie, was it your own? Were, were they your own lines, or there were someone else as well? It was the director. No, it was uh, 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 Chester. Okay. Yeah, it was a Chester. It wasn't my own. It was. A, it, 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 it came from the Chester, so that was the direction. That you so were given, some yeah. Some people were thinking, uh, I am 23 years. <laughs> 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 but 22 was my uh, my favorite number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, to play yeah. It. yeah. Sure. But to play it. Great, great. So there you had it. Richard Olile King's thing there. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think? What surprised you about his revelations in that interview? 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your day. Bye.